Well, when you think of some of the all-time Aggie greats, you certainly think of Jimmy Collins in that 1970 Final Four team. It was announced today by New Mexico State that Collins has died at the age of 74. His former teammates telling me there were complications following a recent open heart surgery. Certainly some tough news, but Jimmy Collins' legacy, it will live on. The history and tradition of New Mexico State basketball is largely embodied by the 1970 Aggies, coached by the late Lou Henson and led by Jimmy Collins, whose death over the weekend has hit his former teammates pretty hard. I never had to worry about him. I was a captain of the team the two years I was there, and I never had to worry about uh, getting Jimmy ready. Behind his back, between his legs, spin, and, and he had a, a soft touch, and he, he shot a knuckleball. His, his ball did not really spin. Most of the 1970 team, including Collins, was in Las Cruces earlier this year for a reunion. Collins talking to us that day on what this team meant to him. How much we ran together, how much we loved each other, and how hard we played together. Uh, that is something I can remember. And of course, you got to remember Coach Henson. Uh, he was a taskmaster. Uh, and the success we had by doing the things that he demanded. Collins was a three time All American and is still the Aggie single season scoring leader. But it's who he was as a person that will be remembered most. He was. Just my best, my best teammate. He was always there to help. He he liked to help everybody. I mean, if you had a problem and you go to Jimmy, Jimmy, Jimmy would help you if he could. Always fun talking with these guys and seeing them share the memories from that 1970 team. I also heard Collins was the best dressed on that Aggie team. He may be gone, but his presence will be forever felt inside the Pan American Center. Back to you.